sun's out hi good morning um no no i lie it is the afternoon it is a new year this is this is the first vlog of the new year i would scream and shout but i'm feeling very pumped up on the water right now i feel a little bit heavy yeah um but we are in this room today yeah see what's going on here okay we are in this room too oh i'm sorry if somebody went dizzy there but we'll just move slowly see we're in this room today so basically i want to tidy up this room i want to move some things around i don't want to film the whole process but i will have the camera kind of running in the background you know just picturing things i really just want to move things around it's a new year i want to start this year differently plus on my makeup so that's my makeup desk vanity desk thing and there's a lot of you know those uh plastic containers that we used to use back in the day when we do makeup and all of that i'm kind of over those like i'm sick of them let me show you you see this little setup here ne? i love it but i'm kind of over it uh let me just move Woo! let's move my m50 just put it over there uh i'm kind of over this whole setup here i feel like i'm sick of seeing it i want to change up this whole space here all of this and i want to put different things on there and that's what i want to do today i'm not sure what i want to do but the biggest thing is i want to move all of this this and i'm going to put it in there i don't need to see it anymore i'm quite good uh makeup it's not it's not that kind of thing for me anymore where I, I need it in the background whatever i do want to however possibly maybe uh move oh my god guys i like that setup over there but i'm thinking of moving my work desk thing business and putting it here so when you're standing at the door that's pretty much what you're going to see. The desk will be there and this one will stay here. And then um, everything that's there, I think like the bags, you know, having the bags on show. I like that whole setup. I'm going to move to here because I hardly ever open these uh, 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 shutters. So I'm going to move it to down there. My lights are probably going to stay there. The studio lights. I don't know what the plan is. <clears throat> excuse me i'm a bit sick but i'm on the tail end of my sickness I'm, I'm i'm getting there okay so i don't know what the plan is but i'm just gonna do something okay because this room is driving me nuts and at this point this is the biggest thing that i want to sort out right here right here so even if i don't move everything today but this 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 little area here this is what i want to sort out today so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my pods in, listen to some music and move things. And yeah, y'all going to watch. And then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this little section. Because I do want to record in here this year. Uh, and I don't want to record down there anymore. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So there's a massive change that I did. I moved 
all those plastic containers that are in there i move them all from here and i feel like this just looks so much more neater and appealing more especially to my eye and it's my eye that's important here <laughs> okay um so basically my this jewelry box container thing was sitting over there and now i've now replaced all of that which was here and i've put it here because the thing is i hardly ever sit at this um desk i always come to just grab something and then leave or open up in here grab something then leave so it's great because it still houses some of my beauty uh stuff it's aesthetically pleasing i love to see it there which is great and then slightly above that on the floating shelf got my books here um i i distinctly made sure that the books are quite colorful because there's a lot of color going on here i do not want to keep the space bland and white it's very hospital like white if there wasn't any color it would drive me nuts it would drive me nuts so i then put this little ornament let's call it an ornament here and then the books i have there i recently finished this one it's really really good um then i have just little for rings little uh plates here for rings and things like that i got these from at home oh mr price home a while ago for like 50 bucks really really pretty and i love them to put extra rings or if you want to put like small beauty blenders or whatever but typically it's going to stay exactly like that i'm not going to add anything to that down there on the corner we've got a candle some fake flowers and room spray to make it smell good in here we've got my pandora bracelet over there and then watches rings earrings necklaces all of that and then my sunnies are here these are not all my sunnies i've got a lot of sunnies but um the more expensive ones i don't keep here i keep them in my bedroom in a drawer so these ones are from eldo h&m zara da 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 these ones are my current favorites i love these ones in the summertime these two are from eldo and that one is from h&m and those two are from zara obviously uh got another pair here which i like i like this little space here i wanted to keep uh the dangling chains there and all of that that's fine and then at the top there i just took the those three uh what do you call those jars those three jars with the stones in them i took them from down here they were down here and then i put them up there which is great it's a nice color change thing going on there and some perfume on the side there and it's fine it's fine for now that's not my favorite shelf but it's fine for now it's okay and there as well not my favorite not my favorite but for now it's okay we'll figure it out and then here i keep kept my bags tomorrow we're gonna move all of this so basically maybe even later on tonight i don't know but i'm just gonna take a break my desk tip tip you can see it's a tip there uh, but tomorrow i'm gonna move all of this and probably move it here and then take the desk and move it over there i just want something different i don't mind i'm not those um I'm not those feng shui people. Oh no, the desk must look out. I do firmly believe that, you know, it's nice to sit at a desk and then look out a window, but it's not the end of the world. I can also put the desk this way. So if it's on the wall, I could be sitting here and looking out that way as opposed to uh, facing the wall. I think that would work as well. The space is big enough. So of course, uh, me being me, I've moved everything. <laughs> um and i'm gonna put that desk over here and then uh, then we're gonna take it from there we're gonna tidy it up a bit move some things around let's do it in the
sun we shared our sorrows we share the love as we get older maybe we change i had my reasons i couldn't stay hope you're okay now So here we are, pretty much done. I don't know how I feel about the new setup as yet. I could always switch it around, I don't know. But I'm quite comfortable with the fact that the chair uh, is facing this way so that I can sit here and then just look out that way, even though there's not much to look at. But uh, I can't, I, I'm okay with it, I'm okay with it. I don't know, but this is pretty much where I'm going to sit to work and do my work stuff and potentially that stuff. But anyway, working on that one too. But yeah, for now, I'm happy. I'm happy for now. So yeah, I'll show it to you maybe in the morning light because the sun has kind of um, gone down a little bit. Maybe if I show it to you from this angle here. That's all right. I'd need a little rug or something for my feet if I'm sitting there in the middle of winter. I know I'm going to need a rug. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I like the new setup. I need to figure out what to do about that Wi-Fi contraption over there. I need to hide it somehow. I don't know how. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll figure out a plan. And yeah, I need to also remove that, but it's fine. It's fine. That's pretty much it. I think, look, I think for one day we're all right. Hey, I think for one day we're all right. Um, gonna go downstairs and maybe start preparing the chicken and putting it into the oven. We'll go downstairs. I'll tell you a little bit about the book that I'm currently reading. We'll have a chat. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow, maybe later. I don't know. You'll figure it out when you see me, whether it's tomorrow or it's later. Okay. Okay, so here we go. The wings are done. They look amazing. Oh my god. And then we're gonna have that with some veggies. That's pretty much it, hey? Good sis is trying to eat clean. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to eat clean and uh, drinking a lot of water. Uh, the whole thing starts today, you know? December was really, really, I think December is pretty much hard on all of us. You know, we're drinking, okay? We're having cakes and scones, okay? We are having, like, all sorts of things, man, you know? So, December was, was hard on all of us. And uh, for me, it was especially hard because I gained a little bit, okay? I gained about, like, three and a half kilograms or four, even. So, it's a bit tricky, you know? I, and, and I felt it on my body. I don't like, I, I could feel it when I would sit in the car or when I would, you know, be sitting on the couch or whatever. I felt a little bit of extra flabby skin on my sides and things. <laughs> so I know I need to work on that, but it's fine. I literally need like two weeks of just clean eating and to, 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 to bring it down a notch. Okay, not two weeks. Let me give myself a month or something. But it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. It's not really a problem. Um, but for me personally, 
um i don't like how i feel when i've put on a little bit of weight so i always make sure that i go back to you know who i was what i was about what i did if you are on this journey as well do not be so hard on yourself please don't be hard on yourself if you make a little bit of a boobiki or you make a little bit of a mistake or a blunder or whatever it's fine it's fine it really isn't the end of the world it's fine just get right back on track you know the whole point of it all is just don't give up there are going to be days that are harder than others but just don't give up okay uh i'm pretty much gonna go i am reading orcadia divina right now um i'm on page 112 uh this is the book that i'm reading and i was so so excited to read this book because it is about um magical realism and it is about this grandmother who calls uh on all her children and children's children all of her descendants to come to her house because she is dying and they must come so that they can receive their inheritance so when they get there they get there and they realize that her the grandmother is uh she's dying sure but she's turning into a tree like there are vines and roots hence the magical realism there are vines and roots that are stemming from her hands her wrists her body and uh yeah she's she's slowly dying but of course the family starts to them being there they start to realize a couple of things that their grandmother hadn't told them about their parents about um you know just their history and they start to um unravel all of that so i haven't i haven't i haven't i'm not that far in it does have a, around 300 and I don't know, 20 something pages and i'm only on 112 so yeah i'll keep you posted with it as i go through but for now i think that's it for me from for the day uh i'll show you a little bit of a clip when i make my food uh typically one to eat before seven and it's hard to eat before seven in summer because it's still bright out and all of that but i typically want to eat before seven so that i have my 16 hours fasting time and then i can eat the following day after 11. so that's pretty much that i'm gonna go Ooh. i'm gonna go relax a little bit done with the cooking done with the cleaning up gonna relax a little bit drink my water and i'll see you guys in a little bit okay It's a new day and uh, I'm sitting here it's Sunday it's actually multiple days later uh, from the last footage you saw which was me probably setting up this room and this will probably be the last footage for this vlog as well but I've got lots to say um, <laughs> I'm just in a little bit of a funk this morning because yesterday a lot happened and on friday a lot happened um yesterday i released as you watch this the day before which uh is saturday um i released a 
the unboxing for uh, the gifts that my sister got me and the comments were overwhelming uh, in a good way and of course some of them kind of made me think a little bit and that's why we're gonna have this chat now I think <laughs> this space these moments where we have chats and everything have become kind of a, a therapeutic session for all of us and I think not only me but I think some of you like draw a lot of um you know fresh moments or poignant points or poignant points is terrible uh you know just something sticks out to you in these random chats that I have either in my kitchen or in, well a lot of them are going to happen in here going forward but um so here's the thing man <laughs> I released that video and one comment stood out to me let me see if I can find it one comment stood out to me and I really want to address this comment and I hear the the chat that this girl was um, saying so I'm, so, I'm sorry I'm just looking for the comments there's currently a hundred I dropped that video yesterday it's already on 7,000 something views um, which is wild for me and my videos that's wild guys please hey follow the channel subscribe retweet repost if there's any way that we are gonna get to 50k I'm looking at 50k by the end of this year uh, if you can get there sooner even better but if there's any way we could get to 50k I'm gonna need you to help me at this point because I the only way we can push the channel is if we retweet and repost and whatever if you see a tweet from me about a video retweet it if you see a post repost it if you are watching it and you can actually send put up a clip of it on your Instagram if your Instagram is not private please do that do anything you can to help push the channel on your side as much as you can I'm trying to look for this girl's comment um so the comment was i like you so much sis but there's one thing i want to say that stop trying to explain yourself too much learn to be grateful for things that people do for you and let it go i know how you feel i used to be like that as well and i worked on it um now lady responded to that and said please tell her and another girl said this is so beautiful i could see how uncomfortable it was for her but she really tried uh luxury suits or whatever so i think the reason why I explain, naturally I'm just an over explainer with everything, I explain everything, but the reason why I had to make that little disclaimer in the beginning is because I know that there are people like me, right? I know that there are people who find really, really, find it really difficult to talk about, receive um be loved on and spoiled and all of that and i know that me having said that in the beginning resonated with someone and if there's one person that it did resonate with was my friend a good friend of mine who i was talking to yesterday which is one of the other things that i'm in just such a mental funk um she said i'm actually glad that you did this that that disclaimer because she felt seen in that she felt like i am typically somebody who would probably say the same thing so i want this to not only be a platform where you know we tell each other constructive criticism like this one you know to stop trying to explain yourself but at the same time uh, we also acknowledge people that are in my seat as well people who often feel like it's not something I can control. Explaining myself, right, in this instance, is not something I can control. It happens all the time. It doesn't necessarily happen with just having to explain why I buy myself expensive things or why I... It happens with having to explain everything. If I, I have to do something for someone or I... Um, if I have to disappoint anyone in any way, my next immediate thing after disappointing them is explaining why I disappoint them. So it's just naturally embedded in me to be over explanatory when it comes to anything. So I want this to be a space where yes, we need, we can teach ourselves to unlearn certain things that we've learned growing up, right? This is something that I'm learning to unlearn and it's going to take a long time if not the whole of my life really um, 
but also I want this to also be a space where we can talk about things like this and have people that are very similar to me, 100% like me or like me or not like whatever, have people who can identify with what I'm saying also feel seen. So I want this to be a space where we can all feel like we are seen. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit uncomfortable here. I don't know what's making me uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, rest about the comment, I'm not mad at it or anything like that because I do agree with her. I need to develop a habit where I don't have to be apologetic or over explanatory for receiving gifts or whatever. My sister says it all the time. But you also have to understand something. I don't share my luxury stuff on the channel at all. I never share it. You'll see it you'll see it pop up in a video in the back but i won't talk about it or you'll see it in a picture on my instagram but i won't talk about it that's naturally because that's who i am uh it's 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 a it's a it's a trait in me it's a it's a quality of me that i am quite okay to have i'm quite happy with it it matches quite well with my character and it matches quite well with who i am so it's it's fine to have people who are loud and proud about what they have or somebody and, and they want to do luxury videos every five minutes and all of that. That's fine. But then there are also people like myself who also must be acknowledged in the sense that I don't want to share that kind of stuff. I don't want to film a video where I'm telling you about a bag that I got that costs 50K or this and this and this. I don't want to do it. Are you going to see that bag in an Instagram video? Sure. Or an Instagram picture? Sure. You might just, you, you might just catch it, you know, but me sitting and unboxing it and showing you and this and this, no. One of the things that I do for myself as a way to reward myself for the things that I've gotten over the years, pricey luxury things or whatever, is I have them out on display. So I don't hide them and put them in the wardrobe and put them far away. I have them out on display so that I can see my hard whack, you know, and, and see that, you know, at some point, puts this was balling, man. Right now, it's not, it's not there right now, <laughs> you know? And like life happens, you know, there's down slopes, there's upward slopes, there's, you know, thriving, and then there's when things just stagnate a little bit, which is where I'm at right now. And I've had to reprogram my mind to kind of figure out, you know, new ways of doing things or how I'm going to change that and, um, you know, do better this year or do, do what am I going to do differently, that kind of thing. So, um, I think let's make room for everyone on this space. Let's make room for even the introverts and the people who feel some type of way about sharing these things and whatever also feel seen like, oh, wow, there's actually someone like me in this regard and all of that. Let's, let's, let's allow that, you know? Um, and that's all I wanted to say on that. So it's been good. It's been great. Ah, that's, that was long. Okay. It's been good, it's been great. I'm pretty much going to spend the whole afternoon in here uh, working and prepping for my week. It is Sunday, um, so I'm going to spend the whole afternoon pretty much in here. might go downstairs to cook and all of that, uh, but I'm not cooking anything new that you guys haven't seen. I'm going to make some uh, bulgur wheat and... I said it right. <laughs> I'm going to make some bulgur wheat and just like a lamb stew or something i don't know nothing hectic so this is things that you've seen on my channel before anyway um one of the other things is yeah this weekend just has been mentally heavy on me extremely heavy one of the a lot of dms that i get with relation to the book content especially dms in my instagram um i always get cat what book would you recommend that i read um, especially when I want to get into reading. I haven't read for a long time, for months or years sometimes, and I really want to get a book that I can read that is really, really great that I can get into the realm of reading again. So I've got four here that I think are very easy to read. They're not uh, literary in the sense that the writing is quite heavy and hard to understand. They're very easy to read, very quick to get through. You can't put them down. 
um, some of the all of them I've spoken about in all my book content video that's on my channel so I'm not going to give too much of a synopsis on them I will link all the book videos that I spoke about these particular books in below in the description below and um, while you're watching this part of the video have you subscribed please do that and then I will show you the current book that I'm reading. I'm on my third book for the year, and today is the 9th of January, so I'm doing pretty well. Um, I'm almost halfway into that book. I'm about 33% into that book. I actually put that up on Goodreads. I am on Goodreads, so if you are a reader, just look for, I think I think it's just Katleo Malela actually on Goodreads. I don't use um, just Katleo. Let me check. I'm literally just Katleo Malela on Goodreads. So... You can follow me on there if you're a fellow book lover and you're also on Goodreads. It's open to anybody and I don't mind. I accept every everybody on Goodreads. Uh, so these are the four books. The first one is under the Udala or Udala trees. I've spoken about this one. This is by Chinelo Oparanta and it is beautiful. It is a, about a girl who is finding herself and... Um, she loses her parents but she's going on this life journey where she's finding herself her true identity her sexuality and it conflicts of course with her staunch nigerian mother who is very big on religion and feels like whatever it is this is about your sexuality we're going to pray it away eh we're going to pray it away so there's a lot of religious patriarchy in it a lot of bible phrases um that may, might make some people feel uncomfortable but overall it is a beautiful book i tabbed it quite a bit as well because there are passages in this book that are just beautiful one of them says um i craved amina's presence for no other reason than to have it it was certainly friendship too this intimate companionship with someone who knew me in a way that no one else did it was a heightened state of friendship maybe it was also a bit of inf infatuation but what i knew for sure was that it was also love maybe love was some combination of friendship and infatuation a deeply felt affection accompanied by a certain sort of awe and by gratitude and by a desire for a lifetime of togetherness. What do you mean? Let down. Uh, the next one is his only wife. In my book videos, you will see that I talk about them a lot more uh, in, in a lot more detail. Uh, this one was entertaining, to say the least. Very entertaining. It was funny. It was so so good. This is his only wife by Peace Adzo Midi. And uh, it was an amazing book. It follows this young lady by the name of Ada who attends her own wedding, which has been arranged by the groom's mother and her mother. So it's an arranged marriage. And she attends her wedding and the husband is, is not there. She marries her husband in absentia basically uh and it, you know it follows just a whole lot of family dynamics and uh she ends up finding out that there is another woman in the picture this is all on here so it's not i'm not spoiling anything um so yeah it's really witty it's hilarious it's smart uh family dynamics you know she marries into this wealthy family because she's doesn't come from a wealthy background so she feels like it'll set up her family for life if she marries into a wealthy family and uh yeah she tries to do everything in her power to try and be a good wife to this man that she doesn't know um and it's really really good so very entertaining easy to read quick to get through also around the 300 and something ah, no 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 it's actually short 275 pages very short next is the polygamous sorry you if you follow me on instagram you'll know why there's wrapping on top of this i borrowed it to a friend of mine and she wrapped it for me why i don't know because now it's all glossy and everything i don't know but it was very sweet of her love her uh this is the polygamous by sunyati again another entertaining read i speak about it there's vlogs where i am reading it um so you get a like a play-by-play -play in the moment as i'm reading it and i talk about it so that's great and most of my vlogs i'm reading at some point most of my vlogs um so this one follows jonasi and his four wives and uh, he is a polygamist it, it is what it says 
okay uh, but it essentially just follows family dynamics what happens this one knows about this one this one doesn't know about this one um, there's a whole lot of patriarchy in this <clears throat> Also, there's just really difficult scenes. There's triggering scenes uh, of abuse and uh, rape and all of that. So there's, there's really difficult scenes to read in this book. But it is thoroughly entertaining. The interactions of the wives and, and, and you know, the interactions between Jonasi and... Uh, it's so hilarious. It's so good. In, in, in many parts, it's just so funny. It's hilarious. It's a good read. It's a great read. Try it out, read it. That's the last that's the last one. Um, easy. That one is even shorter. I think it's 174 pages. So really, really short. You can get through it, and it's gonna want to make you itch to read more. Lastly, okay. Lastly is the book that I am reading, and I started reading it yesterday, and I am I was supposed to start reading it a few days ago. But I only jumped into it yesterday. And I am 114 pages in. This is Betunana. Yo! Like, I'm not crazy on romance, but I do read romance. And I, I prefer to read uh, romance from uh, black authors, black female authors. And this is Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. And she is black. And it follows the life of Eva and Shane and Eva and Shane are authors who are great they're best-selling authors and uh, Eva writes um, fantasy stories about vampires and all of that and she's got like 15 books out and you know she's just made a name for herself uh, in the erotica world as well writing these fantasy novels and then Shane just writes um, she's he he writes more fiction i suppose he just writes fiction but um the story follows them black love black trauma resilience and trying to navigate through what has happened in uh back in the day when they reconnect <laughs> at a later stage in their 30s when they had last seen the, the, the each other in their teens and um yeah so they reconnect at a you know like a one of these literary uh panel sessions they reconnect and yeah a, a lot of conversation happens in this so i haven't read enough for me to uh you know give more of a synopsis than that but i there are some phrases or there are some passages in here that are just overwhelmingly beautiful and i am uh, tabbing everything uh one of the passages was where shane was speaking to eva and um he said you burst into my solitude demanding to be seen you are overwhelming just wild and weird and brilliant and i never had a choice i liked everything about you even the scary parts i wanted to drown in your fucking bath water and i'm just like sir okay <sighs> so i really there are just some beautiful passages here that also talk about uh black authors you know black um women men in writing um writers and it talks about all the things uh, navigating around that. And it's really beautiful. It's so, so good. It's not the the romance that you're just like, ugh. I, I won't read smutty romance like things like The Hating Game. And, and, and maybe I might read the Brown Sisters trilogy. Maybe. But I know that that's also very heated and smutty. This is romance, but it's not like that. That's one thing that, well, so far, that's what I've picked up. Um... Yeah, so I think I'm going to cut the video here and I hope you guys have a fruitful and beautiful uh, week, morning, day, night, what, all of that. Uh, whenever you are watching this, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get us to 50,000 subscribers at the end of this year. Let's work on that. Let's work on that. You know, that's our next milestone. Um, until then, I'll talk to you in the next video.